This is Mr. G, and today I'm going to be a meteorologist. A meteorologist is somebody who studies the weather, especially to make forecasts about what will happen next. A forecast is a prediction based on the scientific processes of rain, sun, and the movements of hot and cold water and air. Some tools we use for meteorology include thermometers, which measure the temperature, barometers, which measure the pressure in the atmosphere, that's the air that surrounds planet Earth, and weather balloons, which they send high into the sky to check the air up there. People care a lot about what the weather will be, whether the weather is foul or fair. The weather forecast can help us decide what to wear, but it can also help us stay safe in dangerous situations such as thunderstorms, hurricanes, blizzards, or tornadoes. Let's practice making some of the sounds that we heard in this introduction. This week, we're practicing the air sound. Now, air can be a word by itself. It's what's in our atmosphere that we breathe and provides oxygen for our bodies. But it's also a sound that's in other words. Let's see the different ways to make that air sound. When you see the letters appear on the screen, sound them out, and then we'll blend them together to make the words. Ch. Air. That's how we spell the word air. But it's also part of other words like chair. Pear. Pear. Now, this isn't the pear fruit. This is when you have two of something, like a pair of socks. T. Air. Now, A R E can be the word R, but sometimes at the end of other words, it makes the air sound. T. Air. Stare. If you stare at something, you look at it with your eyes wide open. T, air, spelled the other way, s, st, airs. So this is another type of stair. This is a staircase of steps that we can climb. T, ear, this could be tear or could be tear. E-A-R is ear when it stands by itself, but sometimes it makes the air sound. In this case, we're talking about a tear, like you can tear a piece of paper. But the same word can be tear, which, which is why it's important to pay attention to the other words in your sentence when you're reading so you can figure out which one it is. Now let's practice the high frequency words. These are words that are used a lot, so you need to be able to read them right away when you see them. If you know the word, say it when you see it. And if you don't, wait until I say it. Favorite. Few, that means not many. Gone. Surprise. Wonder, young. And we also have a couple of vocabulary words. These are words that might be a little bit harder to understand and we also need to know how to read and write with them. Unite, to unite means to come together. This is a verb that means to join together. Oftentimes it's used to refer to people that join together to solve a problem. Nation, a nation is a country. It's another word for a country or a group of people often that are united or they unite or come together to form a nation like the United States. Time for some meteorology mirth. Remember meteorology is the study of weather and mirth means happiness or joy that comes from something funny a lot of times. So this is our joke time. Knock, knock, who's there? Lettuce, lettuce who? Lettuce in, it's freezing outside. Knock, knock, who's there? Wendy, Wendy who? Wendy enough to blow my hat off. It's gonna sound like windy. Time for the spelling words. I'm going to say each word out loud and I want you to try to write it down and spell it correctly on a whiteboard or a piece of paper. You can pause the video to give yourself time to do this and then unpause the video to see if you got it right. For each word you get correct, give yourself a fluffy cloud. Are you ready? Okay, let's begin. First word is fair. Fair can mean different things. A fair can be a place that you go for fun games and food. If something is fair, it also means that it is um, just or the right thing for a lot of different people. It's not unfair. But fair can also mean pale or it can mean good, like fair weather can mean good weather. So we have a lot of different meanings. Fair. 
F air. That has the word air at the end of it. A I R is often how we make the air sound. The next word rhymes with fair and it is pear. Not pear like the fruit, but when you have two of something, you have a pair, like a pair of socks. P air, A I R. Next word is bear, like the furry animal in the woods. Bear. Next word is wear. What are you going to wear today? Did you check the weather forecast? Wear. Spare. Spare often means you have extra of something, like a spare tire in the car. Spare. Share. It's good to share what you have with other people. Share. So you'll notice E-A-R and A-R-E are other ways we can make the air sound. The next word is three. This is one of the ones from last time with the beginning blend. Well, number three, three. Next word is splash. The dolphin made a splash when it landed in the water. Splash. Now we have two harder words, bigger words, probably our biggest words of the year for first grade so far. And there are our last two spelling words of the year too. First word is favorite. Favorite. And the last word is surprise. Surprise. This is our last lesson of first grade. What does it take to be a meteorologist? Follow along with Claire as she imagines what this important job would be like with this video from Radical Junior. <laughs> 